Bonsoir à tous. Est-ce que tout le monde est en forme ce soir? Amen. Êtes-vous prêt pour recevoir de Dieu ce soir? Êtes-vous prêt pour recevoir de Dieu ce soir? Amen, 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 amen. Alléluia, alléluia. On est tellement contents. Salut les gens de Québec, les gens du lac Saint-Jean, les gens de Hearst. Sachez, on vous aime. Et je sais que Dieu va agir ce soir. Amen. On y va avec la louange. Amen. Est-ce qu'on est prêt pour recevoir ce soir? Ouh, ça sent pas convaincu. Est-ce qu'on est prêt pour recevoir ce soir? Hallelujah. Ben, let's go.
Dieu combattra pour nous, repoussant les ténèbres, révélant son royaume, il démon avec glorieux. Et au nom de Jésus, l'ennemi est vaincu, et nous le proclamons. Oh, Dieu combattra pour nous, repoussant les ténèbres, révélant son royaume, il démon avec glorieux. Et au nom de Jésus, l'ennemi est vaincu. Dieu combattra pour nous, chantons ensemble. Oh Dieu combattra pour nous, repoussant les ténèbres, révélant son royaume, qui dévoile la vie glorieux. Et au nom de Jésus, l'ennemi est vaincu, et nous le proclamons. Dieu combattra pour nous, oh Dieu combattra pour nous, repoussant les ténèbres, révélant son royaume, oh il dévoile la vie glorieux. Et au nom de Jésus, Vaincu, Alléluia! Oh, et nous le proclamons et prions. Oh, Dieu combattra pour nous, repoussant les ténèbres, révélant son royaume. Oh, et au nom de Jésus, l'ennemi est vaincu. Et nous le proclamons et crions. Oh, Dieu combattra pour nous, repoussant les ténèbres. Je vivrai, oh je vivrai et connaître la puissance de la résurrection qui vit en moi et je suis libre en Jésus-Christ. Et pour toujours, et pour toujours, je vivrai pour proclamer sa sainteté et je confesse en Jésus-Christ. Seigneur, en Jésus-Christ, nous avons la victoire. Alléluia. Oh, Alléluia. Est-ce qu'on est prêt? Dieu compte toutes nos faiblesses. Amen. Come on. Come on. Oh, Alléluia. Est-ce qu'il y a la joie dans ce lieu ce soir? Est-ce qu'il y a la joie de ce, ce soir? On nous sert en bataille. Mais comment? Let's put those hands together. Tu as comblé mes faiblesses, entouré par ta grâce. Oui, puis en moi à faire place au meilleur de toi. Et prêt? One, two, three. Toi qui saisis, tu éblouis mon âme. Oh, le pire en moi, le pire en moi a fait place au meilleur de toi. Oh, 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 tu donnes un sens à mes rêves. Tu tiens mon âme dire cette vie n'a pas de sens si elle n'est pas pour toi. Alléluia, je te donne tout, chantons-le. Je te donne tout, que ton règne vienne en tout ce qui est en moi. Seul désir de ce monde, c'est plus de toi. Quand je m'abandonne, c'est toi qui prends toute la place en moi pour que le monde voit. Oh, 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 
faiblesses, chantons ensemble. Tu as comblé mes faiblesses, entouré de pire en moi, de pire en moi, à faiblesse. au meilleur de toi. C'est toi qui saisis mon cœur ensemble. C'est toi qui saisis mon cœur. Tu éblouis le pire, le pire en moi. Tu donnes sens à mes rêves, tu donnes sens à mes rêves, tu tiens mon avenir. Cette vie n'a pas de sens si elle n'est pas pour toi. Yeah. Je te donne, je te donne pour que ton rêve devienne en tout ce qui est en moi. Ce désir dans ce monde, c'est
louer le Seigneur ce soir. Dans vos propres mots maintenant, c'est juste vous et Dieu. That's it. Juste louer le Seigneur ce soir. Tu es bon Seigneur, nous levons nos mains vers toi, ô oh, roi des rois. Nous t'adorons Seigneur, en esprit et en vérité. Et au sol et sera, c'est au sol et Et au sol et sera, c'est au sol Et embrasser au sol et sol et sol Alléluia You are God Dance because you are good, oh God. And we shout aloud because you are good, oh God. You've been good to us. You've been good. Tu es si bon, Seigneur. Tu es merveilleux. Tu es glorieux. Et le vent nous ce soir. Alléluia. Et au soleil. 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 Et Quiero sobre ser asado Nous te glorifions Seigneur Nous te glorifions Seigneur Nous te glorifions
Turn to someone tonight. Tell them God is worthy of our praise. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Et je veux qu'on les accueille ensemble ce soir, très chaleureusement. Amen. Le prophète Steve et Rita Fidel sont des bons amis de Jim et Ramona aussi. Good evening, everyone. Bonsoir tout le monde. It's a real pleasure to be with you once again. C'est un grand plaisir d'être avec vous encore une fois. Every time we come and we have dinner first with your pastors. À chaque fois qu'on vient qu'on a un souper avec vos pasteurs avant. What do you think ministers talk about when they have dinner? Qu'est-ce que vous pensez que les ministres parlent quand ils ont un souper ensemble? Well, we're kind of like fishermen. On est comme des pêcheurs. And we begin to tell about the catches we've gotten. Et on commence à parler des poissons qu'on a attrapés. And I'm always encouraged to hear what God is doing. Tout le temps ce que Dieu fait ici. We serve a faithful God. On sert un Dieu fidèle. I brought some props with me tonight. J'ai amené des, uh, des choses avec moi ce soir. I want to talk to you about resurrection authority and resurrection power. Je vous parler de l'autorité de la résurrection et de la puissance de la résurrection. Father, we pray right now. Père, on prie maintenant. We're dawning into the day of your anointing. On approche et on est dans le jour de ton onction. Where resurrection authority and power is going to begin to quicken your people. Où l'autorité et la puissance de la résurrection vont commencer à frapper les gens. We thank you for the signs and wonders and miracles we have experienced so far. On te remercie des signes, des miracles et des prodiges dont on a fait l'expérience jusqu'à aujourd'hui. But we're desperate. Mais on est vraiment désespéré. We're not satisfied. On n'est pas satisfait. Don't misunderstand me. We're not dissatisfied with the Lord. On n'est pas désatisfait du Seigneur. But I'm dissatisfied with us. Mais on est juste satisfait de, de nous. The title of this message is going deeper. Alors le, le message ce soir c'est d'aller plus profondément. Going all the way in. Aller tout au, en, au complet. If we want to receive the anointing, si, we've got to go all the way in. Si on veut recevoir l'onction, il faut aller tout à fait de tout. I want you to turn to John chapter 20. Tournez à Jean 20. 
You would think is he going to preach an Easter message today? Est-ce qu'il va prêcher un message de Pâques aujourd'hui? No, I'm preaching a resurrection message. Non, Hallelujah. je prêche un message de résurrection. In John chapter 20 verse 1. Jean 20 verset 1. It says now on the first day of the week Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb. Le premier jour de la semaine Marie de Magdala se rendit au sépulcre dès le matin. It was still dark. Comme il faisait encore obscur. And she saw that already they had taken the stone from the tomb. Et elle vit que la pierre était ôtée du sépulcre. What's interesting about this Mary Magdalene? Ce qui est intéressant à propos de Marie de Magdala. You see, all the other disciples have run and hidden. Tous les autres disciples étaient cachés, étaient, étaient courus. They were in fear. Il y avait peur. But thank God for strong women. Mais merci Seigneur pour des femmes puissantes. Come on. Amen. It was very early and she went to the tomb. Everyone else was hiding in fear, but she went to anoint the body of Jesus. Again. Tout le monde était caché, mais elle, de tôt le matin, est allée au sépulcre pour oindre le corps de Jésus. You see, even though he had preached that he would rise again, même s'il avait prêché qu'il était pour être ressuscité, they didn't understand it. They were confused. Ils ne comprenaient pas, ils étaient confus. First he was talking about this kingdom of hers and then the next thing they know he's being crucified. Il parlait du royaume éternel et tout à coup il a été crucifié. And so verse 2 she came running to Simon Peter. Verset 2 elle courut vers Simon Pierre and to the other disciple who Jesus loved. Et vers l'autre disciple que Jésus aimait. Can I ask you tonight how many here love Jesus? Combien aime Jésus ce soir? Now, Rita, I hope you got the car running, honey. Alors, Rita, j'espère que l'auto marche. Because it's not enough just to say you love Jesus. C'est pas juste de dire que tu aimes Jésus. We'll talk about that in a moment. On va en parler dans quelques instants. And when she came to Simon Peter and the other disciple who Jesus loved. Quand elle est allée vers Simon Pierre et l'autre disciple que Jésus aimait. Of course, Jesus loves us all, but it's speaking of John the Beloved, the author of this book. Alors, Jésus nous aime tous, mais ça parle ici de Jean, l'auteur de ce livre. And she said to them, Et il leur dit, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb. Ils ont enlevé du sépulcre le Seigneur. And we don't know where they have brought him. Et nous ne savons où ils l'ont mis. So Peter and the other disciple went forth. Alors Pierre et l'autre disciple sortirent. And as they were going to the tomb, et à l'air au sépulcre, Verse 4, the two of them were running. Les, verset 4, ils couraient tous deux ensemble. You see, it was the dawning of the resurrection. C'était la veille de la résurrection. And I want to tell you something. In the anointing of the resurrection, everything's going to pick up. Et dans l'onction de la résurrection, tout va aller Everything plus vite. Everything is going to happen faster. Tout va arriver plus vite. And so, the other disciple, mais l'autre disciple, Got to the tomb ahead. Est arrivé au sépulcre avant. He got there faster. Il est arrivé plus vite que l'autre. You see, the truth was he was younger than Simon Peter. La vérité c'est qu'il était plus jeune que Simon Pierre. And I've been a champion of the next generation. Et je suis un champion de la prochaine génération. I've been a champion of the next generation je like suis un Matthew champion and others de la prochaine génération comme des pères et des mères. picking up the torch and willing to go. Ils ramassent la torche et sont veulent aller. But in youth, Mais dans la jeunesse, in the excitement of strength of youth and the vigor, dans l'excitement de la jeunesse, don't forget the fathers. N'oubliez pas les pères. That's just a side note. C'est juste une note à côté. And it says that when he got to the tomb, et ça nous dit que quand il est arrivé au sépulcre, he just kind of peeked in. Il a juste regardé à l'intérieur. And when he peeked into the tomb, et quand il regarda à l'intérieur. He saw the linen Il a vu le drap that had wrapped the body of Jesus. Qui avait enveloppé le corps de Jésus. Listen to what it says now. Regardez ce que ça dit maintenant. But he did not go in. Mais il n'est pas entré. Can I tell you something? Est-ce que je peux vous dire quelque chose? It's not enough just to have an outside view. C'est pas juste de voir de l'extérieur. It's not enough just to peek in. C'est pas juste de regarder à l'intérieur. As a matter of fact, in verse 5, 6, and 8, dans le verset 5, 6 et 8, it uses the word to see or saw. Il se sert du mot regarder ou voir. It's interesting that three different Greek words are used there. Ici, il y a trois mots grecs différents qui se sont. And in verse 5, where it said, the, John the beloved just Kind of scooped down and peeked in. Quand ça nous dit au verset 5 que Jean s'est simplement penché et regardé à l'intérieur. It means just to look quick, to gaze. C'est de voir rapidement. 
But it says Mais ça dit that Simon Peter came running behind him. que Simon Pierre est arrivé en courant derrière lui. And he went right past him. Il a passé à côté de lui. And he went all the way Et in. il est entré à l'intérieur. And he saw. Et il a vu. And the word there, the Greek word for seeing there means. Et le mot grec pour voir là veut dire. To carefully observe. Observer attentivement. You see, if you're just on the outside peeking in, you're going to miss something. Parce que si tu es à l'extérieur et tu regardes seulement à l'intérieur, tu vas manquer quelque But chose. But if you're willing to go all the way in. Mais si tu veux entrer complètement jusqu'à l'endant. And in this case, he went all the way into the tomb. Puis il est entré dans ce moment-là jusqu'à l'intérieur du sépulcre. It's not a major thought, but a side note I want you to think about. Alors pensez à ceci. C'est un peu l'ombre de nous qui mourons à nous-mêmes. Il dit, lui aussi a vu le drap blanc qui avait enveloppé le corps de Jésus. Mais il a aussi vu le, le, le drap qui enveloppait le visage qui avait couvert le visage de Jésus. Ce n'était pas avec le drap, mais il était plié, bien collé, avec beaucoup d'attention et mis proprement à côté. Il y a un symbole prophétique ici. Il y a une vérité profonde de révélation ici. Alors Jean qui regardait juste de l'extérieur ne l'a pas vu. Peter, who went all the way in, Mais Pierre qui est entré jusqu'en dedans he got the full revelation. a eu la pleine révélation. It goes on to say that the, Peter took John in. Et ça dit que Pierre a pris Jean et l'a rentré en dedans. And it says John saw and he believed. Parce que là, Jean a vu et il a cru. It means, the Greek word thing means to see with intelligence. Alors le, le mot grec veut dire voir avec intelligence. You see, the preaching of Jesus Christ is not in vain. It's not foolishness. Alors la prédication de Jésus-Christ n'est pas en vain. Ce n'est pas de But la folie. Romans 1, 16 says it's the power. Romains 1, 16 dit que c'est la puissance. Says I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it's the power. Je n'ai point honte de l'évangile car c'est la puissance. And where is, there is power. Et là où il y a la puissance. We're not a weak, defeated people. On n'est pas un peuple défait et faible. And we're coming into a season if we're willing to step into resurrection anointing. Et on entre dans une saison si l'on veut bien pour l'onction de where résurrection. Signs and wonders will be the norm. Où les signes et les miracles vont être normaux. Yes, yes. And when he saw the linen. Et quand il a vu le drap. And he saw. Le linceul qui recouvrait la tête de Jésus et Jésus étant la tête de l'Église. Ladies, femmes, and you gentlemen too, et vous aussi les hommes. When you do your laundry, quand tu fais ton lavage, and you fold it, et que tu plies, do you put it right back with that which is undone? Est-ce que tu le remets avec quelque chose qui est sale ou pas fait? Or do you put it aside? Ou si tu le mets de côté? You put it aside. Tu le mets de côté. Qu'est-ce qu'on appelle cela? It is est finished. Fini. And what this represents prophetically for you and I Ce que ça représente prophétiquement pour vous et moi is the work of Jesus Christ is completed. C'est le travail de Jésus-Christ est complet. Everything. Tout. Everything you and I are ever going to need. Tout ce que nous allons avoir de besoin vous et moi. He's already paid the price. Il a payé le prix déjà. He's already accomplished it. Il a tout accompli. There's nothing at all. Il y a rien. That's impossible for God. impossible pour Dieu. You know he'll even use children. Il va même se servir des enfants. One year ago my older son who's in the ministry. Un an passé mon plus vieux qui est dans le ministère, mon fils. He was in a terrible motorcycle accident. Il était dans un accident de motocyclette terrible. They had to put, a, put him in a coma. He had brain damage. Ils ont dû le mettre dans le coma. Il y avait de cerveau. His brain was bruised. Il y avait le cerveau endommagé. His ribs were broken, a fractured jaw, elbows, everything. Tout était brisé, ses côtes, sa mâchoire, tout. And it was a crisis. C'était vraiment une crise. Alors, comme un père et une mère, on était concernés. 
We happened to be there, thank on God. était là, merci Seigneur, à ce moment-là. And my daughter-in-law insisted. Et ma, ma belle-fille a insisté. She was going to bring my three-year-old granddaughter and the couple-month-old baby to see their father. Elle voulait amener sa fille de trois ans et son bébé de trois mois voir le papa à l'hôpital. In a coma. Dans le coma. I comme ça, I said brisé. you cannot bring those children there. Et tu, a, il, je lui ai dit tu ne peux pas amener les enfants là-bas. You can't let them see their father like that. Ils ne doivent pas voir leur papa comme ça. She says, no, I think if he hears their voice, it'll help him. Non, mais je sais que s'il entend la voix de ses enfants, ça va l'aider. I got to tell you the truth. I was against it. Moi, j'étais contre, je vais vous dire la vérité. We stayed all night, and sure enough, in the morning, On here she comes with those kids. Toute la nuit, puis le matin, elle arrive avec les deux enfants. I'm an Italian father-in-law. You don't push me around. Beau père italien, tu me pousses pas, hein? And she sat my little granddaughter Fiona on her daddy's chest. Elle a mis la petite de trois mois Fiona sur la, le ventre de son père. She looked at all the instruments around her. La petite fille regardait tous les instruments autour. And the mother had told them that daddy has boobos. Alors la maman avait dit aux enfants papa il y a beaucoup de bobos. And so she just took her hand. Elle a juste pris sa main. And she laid it on her father's chest. Elle a mis la main du bébé sur l'estomac le, le, de son papa. They had been teaching her to pray in the name of Jesus. Il leur avait montré, il avait montré à la petite de prier dans le nom de Jésus. And so she said, Bobo. Elle a dit, Bobo. You be gone. Tu pars. In Jesus' name. Dans le nom de Jésus. My son was healed. Mon fils a été guéri. <laughs> My son was healed. Mon fils a été guéri. You see, the work has already been done. Tout est accompli déjà. We would like to maybe canonize her and make her this powerful Catholic woman, but the fact is, on voudrait faire toutes sortes de choses puis le faire dans la chambre. It's a realization as children. Mais faut réaliser comme des enfants. As innocent and simple as children. Des enfants innocents et simples. We stand on the promises of God. On se tient sur les promesses de Dieu. What did she understand at three years old? Qu'est-ce qu'elle a compris la petite fille de trois ans? The work is finished. Le travail est accompli. But what does this represent? Qu'est-ce que ça représente ici le drap? What does this represent? Qu'est-ce que ça représente? The linen that wrapped the body of Jesus. Le drap qui enveloppait le corps de Jésus. It was just laying there. It was undone. C'était juste là à terre. You know what it represents? Qu'est-ce que ça représente? You and me. Vous et moi. It represents the body of Christ. Ça représente le corps de Christ. And it means our work is not finished. Ça veut dire que notre travail n'est pas fini. We must be busy about the Father's work. On doit s'occuper des affaires de notre Père. And there is power. Il y avait de la puissance. In the truth. Dans la vérité. I don't know about you, but I scare myself sometimes. Des fois, je me fais peur. Je sais pas à propos de vous, mais. Have you ever thought if the Bible or the gospel would have ended at the end of John chapter 19? Avez-vous déjà pensé que si l'évangile arrêtait après Jean 19? I'll tell you right now. I'll give you a little hint. Je vais vous dire tout de suite. Je vous donne une petite. If it ended at the end of chapter 19, there'd be nothing to shout about. Il y aurait rien qu'on pourrait crier si c'était arrêté à Jean 19. There'd be nothing to be happy about. Rien pour être heureux. And we'd be no different than anybody else. On serait pas différent de n'importe qui d'autre. But something happened that changed that. Mais quelque chose est arrivé qui a changé cela. First of all, what happened in chapter John 19? Qu'est-ce qui est arrivé dans Jean 19? Jesus was crowned with a crown of thorns. Jésus a été mis avec une couronne d'épines. He was spit on and mocked and whipped. Ils ont crié, ils ont fouetté, ils ont moqué, ils sont moqués de lui. Pontius Pilate went to the people. Ponce Pilate est allé vers les gens de ce monde. And he said, I don't find any fault with this man. Il dit, je ne trouve aucune faute dans cet homme. They said, crucify Ils ont dit, crucifiez-le. He washed his hands and once again said, I can't find anything wrong with him. Il s'est lavé les mains et a dit, je ne peux trouver rien de mal avec cet homme. And they shouted all the louder, crucify him. Ils ont crié encore plus fort, crucifiez-le. You know, some people think maybe Pontius Pilate was sympathetic towards Christ. Et peut-être qu'il y en a qui pensent que Pilate était sympathique envers Jésus. We know his wife was. On savait que sa femme l'était. But do you know why he was so concerned? Mais savez-vous pourquoi il était tellement concerné? And he had to find something to pin on. 
and Jesus. Puis il fallait qu'il trouve quelque chose contre Jésus. Because when we look at the cross today, we see victory and glory. Parce que nous aujourd'hui on regarde la croix, on voit la victoire. But la in the gloire. day that Jesus Christ hung, hung on the cross, you were the scum of the earth. Mais quand c'était dans le temps de Jésus, tu étais sur la croix, tu étais you vraiment la poubelle du you monde. You were a criminal. Tu un criminel, le pire des pires. And he was the representation of Rome there in Jerusalem. Lui était le représentant de Rome à Jérusalem, Pilate. And there was a law on the book that he had to fulfill. Et il y avait une loi dans les livres qu'il devait accomplir. Nobody could go to the cross. Personne ne pouvait aller à la croix. Unless there was a posting on it of their sin. Si or not their sin, their crime. Il fallait que le crime soit affiché sur la croix. And the only thing he could find about Jesus, la seule chose qu'il pouvait trouver à propos de Jésus, he wrote it in three languages. It was this. Il l'a écrit en trois langues. Ceci. All he could find to accuse Jesus of. Tout ce qu'il pouvait trouver pour accuser Jésus était. This is Jesus of Nazareth. C'est Jésus de Nazareth. The King of the Jews. Le roi des Juifs. It was written in three languages. Écrit en trois langues. Hebrew, en the hébreu, language of religion. La, la langue de la religion. Greek, the language of philosophy. Le grec, le langage de la philosophie. Latin, the language of the law. Latin, le langage de la loi. They happen to be the known languages of the day that Jesus lived. C'était les trois langages connus dans le temps de Jésus. Which proves a point. Qui prouve un point. Don't misunderstand me. I love Israel. I believe we must stand with Israel. J'aime Israël. Je me tiens pour Israël. But Jesus did not come to die for one person. Mais Jésus n'est pas venu mourir pour une personne. Nor did he come to die for one nation. Ni pour juste une nation. He came to die for the sins of the world. Il est venu mourir pour les péchés du monde entier. And if John 19 was the end of it? Et si Jean 19 c'était la fin de tout? Does anybody know what gospel means? Savez-vous ce que ça veut dire évangile? Good news. Bonne nouvelle. I want to tell you something. Je vais vous dire quelque chose. Jesus Christ dead in the grave is not good news. Jésus-Christ mort dans le sépulcre n'est pas une bonne nouvelle. If Jesus was still in the grave, if we did not have the resurrection, there's no good news in that. Il n'y a aucune bonne nouvelle si Jésus serait encore dans le sépulcre et non ressuscité. A matter of fact, the apostle Peter was so fired up on this. Alors le, le, l'apôtre Pierre était tellement en feu pour ceci. That we would understand the power of the resurrection. On comprendrait la puissance de la résurrection. He wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 12 through 14. Alors dans 1 Corinthiens 15. If Christ be preached toi, that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? 1 Corinthiens 15, 12. Or, si l'on prêche que Christ est ressuscité des morts, comment quelques-uns parmi vous disent-ils qu'il n'y a point de résurrection des morts? And if there is no resurrection of the dead, et s'il n'y a point de résurrection des morts, then Christ has not risen. Christ non plus n'est pas ressuscité. And if Christ be not risen, et si Christ n'est pas ressuscité, then our preaching, notre prédication, and our faith, et notre foi, is in vain. Est en vain. Empty. Powerless. Sans puissance. Jesus dead in the grave is not good news. Alors, Jésus mort dans le sépulcre, ce n'est pas une bonne nouvelle. That's why we said he's not dead. C'est pour ça qu'on a dit il n'est pas mort. He's not dead. Il n'est pas mort. He's not dead. Il n'est pas mort. But he is alive. Il est vivant. Forevermore. Pour toujours. And it's not only the death on the cross. C'est pas simplement la mort sur la croix. Because if it ended there, we'd be without it. Parce que si ça s'arrêtait là, on serait sans puissance. But it's the resurrection. Mais c'est la résurrection. And if there be no John 20, Et s'il n'y avait pas de Jean 20, if it ended in John chapter 19, si ça s'arrêtait à Jean 19, then there'd be no book of Acts. il n'y aurait pas de livre des Actes. And the book of Acts is the only book in the New Testament that does not end with Amen. Alors, c'est le seul livre, le livre des actes, qui ne finit pas avec un « Amen ». Ça signifie que le travail des apôtres et des disciples continue. C'est pour ça que c'est plein des miracles. Signs and wonders. Des Hallelujah. signes et des miracles. Alléluia. That are given to us. Qui sont donnés pour nous. So God, oh, he's not dead. Dieu n'est pas mort. I said he's not dead. Il n'est pas mort. I said he's not dead. J'ai dit il n'est pas mort. Years ago, I understand there's a movie out. I got to go see it. Alors, il y a des années passées, j'entends, je comprends qu'il y a une film qui est sortie. Je dois and aller le says, voir. It's a movie that says God's not dead. C'est un film qui dit God, Dieu n'est pas mort. 
But in the 70s, a magazine came out and in big black bold letters that said, God is dead. En, dans les années 70, il y a un gros magazine qui est sorti, c'était marqué, Dieu est mort. The atheists and the unbelievers said, we told you there's no God. Les athéistes et les non-croyants disaient, je vous l'ai dit qu'il n'y avait pas de Dieu. All the religious people were all upset. Oh, tous les, les gens religieux étaient tristes. And so they said, The news reporter said, "This is a big story." Alors le reporter a dit ça, c'est une grosse histoire. I mean, God is dead. That's Dieu big. est mort, c'est gros, c'est une bonne histoire. We got to find someone to interview. Il faut trouver quelqu'un pour un interviewer. Somebody whose name will be recognized worldwide the minute it's mentioned. Le quelqu'un dont le nom va être reconnu mondialement aussitôt qu'il va être mentionné. That says they know God. Ça, qui disent qu'ils connaissent Dieu. Who could it be? Qui pourrait le dire? They thought. And then they said, "We know." On dit, on sait qui? John Turpin. <laughs> John Turpin. No, no. They came up with. They said, "Billy Graham." Ils ont dit, Billy Graham. Recognized name everywhere. Tout le monde le connaît partout dans le monde. So they rushed to his house. Alors sont allés tout de suite avec les caméras dans sa maison avec les micros. They rang the doorbell. Ils ont sonné à la porte. Billy Graham came to the door. <laughs> Billy Graham est allé à la porte. They said, Reverend Graham, we've come for your reaction to the news. Dit, Reverend Graham, on est venu pour ta réaction pour la nouvelle qu'on vient d'avoir. He said, what news is that? Il dit, quelle nouvelle est-ce que c'est? And they held the magazine up that just because he would read it, it would be true. Alors, parce qu'ils ont tenu la magazine, ils ont pensé juste parce qu'ils l'ont, ils le liraient que ce serait vrai. God is dead. Dieu est mort. Now don't lie to me. Ne me comptez pas de mensonges. How many have got an iPhone and iPad? Combien ont un iPhone, iPad? This is a good object lesson. Alors c'est une bonne leçon d'objet. Don't read, don't believe everything you read. Ne crois pas tout ce que vous lisez. Mm-hmm. When Billy Graham saw the headline. Quand Billy Graham a vu ce titre. He threw his hands to heaven. Il s'est levé les mains vers le ciel. He Grasped his heart. Il a saisi son cœur. He said, "Oh no! Oh no! I just talked to him. Je viens de lui parler. God's not dead. Dieu n'est pas mort. Je viens de lui parler. I said, God's not dead. Dieu n'est pas mort. He's alive. Il est vivant. And his resurrection authority is here. Et l'autorité de sa résurrection est ici. In Hebrews chapter 6, I'm just going to give this to you. Hébreux 6, je vais vous le donner rapidement. Maybe you already have. Étudiez-le, mais peut-être que vous le connaissez. I want you to raise your hands high if you have this doctrine in your life. Levez votre main très haut si vous avez cette doctrine dans votre vie. Hebrews 6 gives a list of doctrines of Christ. Hébreux 6 nous donne une liste des doctrines à propos de Christ. Repentance from dead works. Who saved? La repentance des œuvres mortes. Qui est sauvé ici? Come on, we got to have a revival meeting for on salvation. Veut, on veut Who saved? Réveille. Come on. Faith towards God. Anybody got faith towards God? La foi towards envers God? Dieu. Baptism. Baptême. Baptized in water. Baptized in the Holy Ghost. Du Saint Esprit. Your church is doing really good, Pastor. Ton église ça va vraiment bien, Pastor. Then it says the laying on of hands. L'imposition des mains. But do you know what the next one says? Savez-vous ce que le prochain dit? The resurrection of the dead. La résurrection des morts. It's a doctrine that's going to be restored. C'est une doctrine qui va être restaurée. And every time God restores truth. Et à chaque fois que Dieu restaure la vérité. It at first just trickles a little. Ça commence par dégoûter un petit peu. It's not flowing fast. Ça coule pas rapidement. Because he begins to look for a people, a remnant of people who will take hold of it. Il commence à t- chercher des gens qui voudraient prendre cette vérité. People like your pastor who des, des is gens moving comme votre pasteur in the gifts of the Spirit, qui bouge for miracles, dans les dons du Saint-Esprit, qui croit au miracle des signes et des prodiges. But he's not satisfied. Mais il est pas satisfait. He's not dissatisfied with God. He's desperate for more. Il est dé- désespéré pour, pour plus. Il en veut plus. Are you desperate for more? Êtes-vous désespéré pour en voir plus? And so he looks for people that will begin to pray for it and be hungry for it. Alors il commence à regarder pour des gens qui ont faim de and ça. And people who begin to step into it. Ou des gens qui commencent à entrer dans ça. And slowly but surely it's coming. Et ça s'en vient rapidement. Many of you know that five years ago, I physically died. Vous savez que cinq ans passé, je suis mort physiquement. Both my kidneys stopped working. Mes, I was dead. Mes deux reins ont arrêté de fonctionner. J'étais mort. My wife wouldn't let me go. I must be one fine husband. Mon mari, ma femme a pas voulu me laisser aller. Je dois être un merveilleux mari. But she stood in the gap and began to pray. Mais c'est tenu à la brèche. Elle a commencé à prier. She didn't know how to pray, so she asked God. Elle savait pas comment prier. And God prier. quickened in her spirit. Call on resurrection authority power. Call on my grace. Elle savait pas comment prier, mais Dieu lui a montré. Appelle mon autorité, ma puissance de résurrection et ma grâce. She was convinced that it wasn't my time. 
time. Elle était convaincue que ce n'était pas mon temps. And I, within a, several hours, they put the dialysis machine on me. That's surgery. I mean, I was on life support. It was, I was, Alors they brought me sur back le and they de, began to do all these medical things. J'étais sur le support de vie, sur la dialyse. Vraiment, je savais pas où j'étais. Puis on fait beaucoup de choses sur moi. And all of a sudden, the power of God hit me. Et tout à coup, la puissance de Dieu m'a frappé. I don't know all what was wrong. They took all the tests. They have all the tests, all the proof. Ils ont pris toutes les tests, ils ont toutes les preuves. Je sais pas ce que j'avais de mal. The doctor grabbed my hand and says, "I don't understand this, but there's nothing wrong with you." Le docteur a pris ma main. Je comprends pas rien, mais il y a rien qui va pas dans ton. Il y a rien de, dans ton corps. Soon va. after that, I was better. Et tout de suite après cela, je me sentais mieux. I went home because they insisted me coming back to America. Alors je suis revenu aux États-Unis. Ils ont insisté que je revienne à la maison. Ils voulaient pas être responsable. Je pense. It happened in France, right? arrivé en France. But I had a relative that was dying. Mais j'avais un pa- une parenté qui était mourant. And all the church in Utica heard my testimony, but I didn't let anybody know I was coming to Utica. Alors toute l'église d'Utica avait entendu parler de mon témoignage, mais j'ai pas dit à personne que Make je m'en allais à Utica. Story short, my aunt had accepted the Lord and she was slipping away. Alors ma tante, pour faire une histoire courte, euh, avait accepté le Seigneur Jésus et commencé à mourir. I was just a nephew mourning my aunt. I got tears in oh, my eyes. And they said, you've got to get out of the room. We've got to work on her. Alors, j'ai dit, sortez de la chambre, il faut travailler sur elle. So I went into the waiting room. Alors, je suis allé dans la salle d'attente. There was about 70 people in there, and I didn't recognize it at first, but they were praying. Alors, il y avait à peu près 70 personnes dans cette salle d'attente, et pas, je ne les ai pas reconnues, mais ils priaient. Suddenly, a little lady came out of the crowd, and I recognized her from my church. Alors, c'était une petite femme qui est sortie de la foule, puis je l'ai reconnue de mon église. And when I looked closer, there were several more from my church. Et quand j'ai regardé plus près, c'est plusieurs personnes de mon église. And she said, what God did for you, he's going to do for my husband. Elle dit, ce que Dieu a fait pour toi, il va le faire pour mon mari. And you're going to pray for my husband, et and tu, he's going to live. Et tu vas prier pour mon mari, puis il va vivre. She took my hand and dragged main, me through the hospital elle m'a screaming. À l'hôpital en criant à travers l'hôpital. He was dead, but he's alive. He'll pray for my husband. My husband will live. Il était mort, il est vivant. Il va prier pour mon mari. Il va ressusciter. Il va vivre. My knees were knocking. Mes genoux tremblaient. Now I just had a miracle. Alors je venais d'avoir un miracle. I mean, if anybody should have had faith for this. Mais si quelqu'un devrait avoir la foi pour ça. I'm telling you the truth because we got to understand something. Je vous dis la we vérité. We fade right back into normalness. Oh well. Écoutez bien, on retourne souvent très normal rapidement. And she put me in front of her husband. Elle m'a mis devant son mari avec toutes les fils de support de vie. His name was Don. Son nom était Don. So I said, Don. J'ai dit Don. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Nothing. Rien. Second time. Deuxième fois. Don in the name of Jesus. Don dans le nom de Jésus. Just then the machine started making noise. Et là, les machines ont commencé à faire du bruit. I got scared and thought my size 14 pulled the plug out of the wall. Alors j'ai eu peur, je pensais que j'avais enlevé le fil, le fil de dans le le mur. I want to tell you the truth. Je vous dire quelque chose. I got ready just to say a nice pastor's prayer. Alors je me suis préparé à dire juste une belle prière pastorale. And I heard the Lord say to me. Et j'ai entendu le Seigneur me dire Call on resurrection authority and power like Appelle la puissance et l'autorité de la résurrection comme ta femme a fait pour toi. So I said, Don, in the name of Jesus, Don, dans le nom de Jésus, with resurrection authority and power, rise. Avec l'autorité, la puissance et la résurrection, lève-toi. He sat up. Il s'est assis. The doctors start running. People. Les docteurs ont commencé à courir, sortir. Within a half an hour, he's got everything off and he's going home. Une demi-heure, tout était enlevé, s'en allait à la maison. I was just at Mount Zion. It's called Redeemer now. A year ago, I'll be going back in January. Ça fait un an de ça. Il that va was à five years ago. He was in his 70s and he's still alive. Hallelujah. Il avait 70 ans dans ce temps-là. Ça fait cinq ans. Il a 75 ans puis il est encore God's en vie. not dead. Dieu n'est pas mort. He's alive. Il est vivant. Who wants resurrection? Qui veut cette puissance et cette autorité resurrection de résurrection? L'onction de résurrection. Mm. Son, I'm stirring the waters. Je fais, trem- je fais bouger les eaux. You've been a forerunner for many years. Tu as été un pionnier pour plusieurs années. You've witnessed signs and wonders. You've seen miracles. Tu as vu des signes et des miracles et des merveilles. Sometimes there's a tremendous frustration because Quelque when fois, you're away from the house, the miracles seem more. Quand tu es en dehors de la maison, tu vois plus de miracles. But you have such a heart for your people. Mais tu as tellement un cœur pour ton peuple. You said, Lord, I want to see that power in my house. Seigneur, je veux voir cette puissance dans ma maison. But the Lord's been stretching you and making you ready. Mais le Seigneur t'étire et te, te prépare. 
Because you're going to raise up an army of resurrection authority. People. Parce que tu vas élever une armée de gens de résurrection. And the signs and wonders and the miraculous et les signes increase. et les miracles et les prodiges vont augmenter. At first, when you're away on ministry trips, they will increase. The river will flow so wide and deep. En premier, quand tu vas être en dehors, en faire du ministère, tu vas avoir beaucoup de signes de miracles et le, la rivière va être très creuse. But I will answer your prayer that I will drop it on this house as well. Mais je vais aussi répondre à tes prières et le déverser sur cette église aussi. But I'm looking for those that will intercede. I'm looking for those that will stretch themselves. I'm looking for those who will believe. Je, crois, je cherche pour quelqu'un qui va croire. But more importantly, Mais encore plus important, we'll go all the way in. Qui va rentrer tout à fait au bout. To get the full revelation, it's already been done by Jesus. Pour avoir une pleine révélation, tout a été fait en Jésus. You don't have any power on your own. You don't have any puissance ou d'onction par vous-même. But it's because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. Mais c'est à cause du travail accompli et terminé de Jésus-Christ. And when we begin to say more of you and less of me, et quand on commence à dire plus de toi et moins de moi, Seigneur, let your anointing come. Que ton onction vienne. Those of you who are hungry, for ceux qui ont faim ici ce soir, you're desiring a deeper anointing. Vous voulez avoir une onction plus profonde. I want you to stand to your feet. Je veux que vous vous leviez sur vos pieds, levier. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jesus. Daughter, I'm going to cause the. Come and interpret, brother. English? Can you. Uh, French, I mean? Hallelujah. Daughter, I'm going to cause the anointing on you to deepen. Je vais faire en sorte que l'onction augmente. Because you drew a line in the sand several years ago. Tu as dessiné une ligne dans le sable il y a quelques années passées. And you answered my call for this house to be built. Tu as répondu à l'appel pour que cette maison soit bâtie. And over the years you made sacrifices. You saw your husband off. Et tu as vu, tu as fait des sacrifices dans les années passées. But you were willing to stay with the stuff and with the people. Et tu as vu ton mari partir, mais tu as décidé de rester avec les, les prayer, choses, les affaires et les gens. But your prayer was that it would just not be a church. Ta prière était que ce n'était pas seulement d'être pour être une église. But it would be a house that would move in the power of the living God. Mais une maison qui bougerait dans la puissance du Dieu vivant. And you've been a pioneer in this. Tu as été un, une pionnière dans ceci. I know some people would react to this strange, but I'm going to say it as God gives it to me. Il y a des gens qui penseraient ça bizarre, mais je vais te le donner comme je le reçois. There's also an apostolic anointing on you. Aussi un manteau apostolique sur ta vie. An anointing of equipping, equipping and making people ready. Et une onction pour préparer les gens. One who's able to impart. Une qui est capable de transmettre. So in these days. Dans ces jours. I'm stretching even more. Je te tire davantage. But I want you to know. Je veux que tu saches. I rely on you. I know you are a gap stander. Je sais que tu te, te tiens la brèche. And the house of the Lord will flourish. La maison d'Éternel va fleurir. Mm. The level of the anointing is coming Et higher. Yes. L'onction va augmenter. The quickening power of the Holy Ghost. La puissance du Saint-Esprit. Those of you who are desperate in your own spirit and your own heart. Ceux qui sont désespérés dans leur cœur présentement. And you lift your both hands and say, Lord, here am I, I want to les deux mains et dis, je you désire ceci. You have to be in the right church. Vous êtes dans la bonne église. You're under apostolic anointing from Apostle John and Louise of this anointing. Vous êtes sous une bonne onction, l'onction apostolique du pasteur Jean et Louise. And I want to tell you something. We're not the kind of people that just throw those titles around because it makes someone feel good. If it ain't true, then the je proof won't be there. Je vous dis que je, on fait pas juste lancer ces titres là comme ça parce que si il n'y a pas de on, on fait pas juste donner ces titres là. On a besoin But de preuves. The proof preuve. is already there. It's already flowing. Les preuves coulent déjà. Quickening power right now. Une puissance présentement. If there's anyone here tonight that you have something that would be considered terminal, something si that's quelque chose con, qui, a, a chronic thing, terminal ou un chronique, even if it isn't terminal, something that's chronic, it's it's quelque just chose a de chronique, situation dans And votre you need santé. A touch in your body. Vous avez besoin d'une touche dans votre corps. I want you to come forward Venez right devant. Now. In the name of Jesus, Dans le nom de Jésus. Just come. Venez. Hallelujah.
ni par la force ni la puissance, mais par le Saint-Esprit. Alléluia. Pastor Jean et Louise, join us in this. Hallelujah. Jean Lou, Papa Jean Louis, Just lift your hands to heaven. Levez vos mains vers le ciel. Father, we pray right now. Père, on prie présentement. Go ahead and just begin to lay hands. Juste commencez à imposer les mains. Father, we pray right now. Père, on prie maintenant. For a release of the anointing of God. Afin que l'onction de Dieu puisse être relâchée. That the quickening power of the Holy Ghost will come. Que la puissance du Saint Esprit vienne. We curse every ailment. Nous maudissons chaque maladie, toute maladie. We curse every disease. Toute maladie. We curse everything that would try to hinder your life Tout from serving God. Mot et tout ce qui vous empêche de servir Dieu. And we call on the healing grace of the Lord. On appelle la miséricorde de la grâce de guérison de Dieu. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. We call resurrection authority and power on you right now. On appelle la puissance de la résurrection sur vous maintenant. That the reality of the life of Christ, que la réalité de la vie de Christ, the testimony he's not dead, le témoignage qu'il n'est pas mort, but he's alive, mais qu'il est vivant, and he's alive in you, et il est vivant en vous, in the name of Jesus, dans le nom de Jésus. And whether someone touches you right now or not, the Spirit of God's touching you. Peu importe si quelqu'un vous touche présentement, la puissance du Saint Esprit vous touche. And the healing power is flowing through this house. Et la puissance coule dans cette maison. Lord, let this be a mark. Of a beginning. Par que ce soit un, dé, un nouveau début. An answer to John's prayer. Une réponse à la prière au pasteur Jean. That there comes a release of the anointing of healing. Qui puisse avoir un relâchement de la au niveau de la guérison. That will flow in and out of this house. Qui va rentrer et sortir de cette maison. We pray in the name of Jesus. On prie dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Seigneur. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Peux vous asseoir. May we take a few more minutes to minister to Just prendre quelques instants encore. Alléluia. Thank you Jesus. O kuriya ya sata. Kuriya ya dam. If my wife or I motion to you that means we want you to come forward. Si euh, moi-même ou mon épouse vous fait signe c'est qu'on veut que vous puissiez venir devant. Si vous êtes marié, votre épouse ou votre conjoint, conjointe et l'œuvre, ils peuvent venir avec vous. Merci Seigneur. Si vous avez choisi ou si vous avez pointé, vous avancez, vous faites juste vous aligner. Ce qu'on va faire, c'est si vous comprenez l'anglais, on ne traduira pas la prophétie. If they understand English, we will not translate. Okay. If they understand, they do not understand, we will translate. Okay. Anyone standing here just visiting tonight? Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui visite seulement ce soir qui est en avant ici? No, I think everybody's. Ouais. We need you to say your name in the mic. Alors vous dites votre euh, votre nom dans le micro. Okay. Diane comprend l'anglais, alors on va la laisser aller en anglais. Daughter, I want to lift you out of the pool of disappointment. I want to lift you up out of the sorrow and the brokenness of life. I want to begin to cause you to breathe again. Your breath has been hindered, and you think it's just physical, maybe. But sometimes in the midnight hour, there's such a weight that comes to crush you and crush your spirit, like you feel like you're losing your breath. We take authority over that right now in the name of Jesus, and we call the healing grace of the Lord on your life right now. I can't get away from this one thought. Don't let your circumstance rule your life. Don't let what others have done to you dictate your future. Don't stay in a place of anger or bitterness or disappointment. Don't let that root in your life because you'll be the prisoner. But lay it at the altar. Give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. 
Il y a des temps où les choses sont tellement pas justes. Il y a des choses qui font mal. Mais ce n'est pas le temps de lâcher. C'est le temps de rester fort. Parce que je sais que je sais que je sais. Dieu te passe, fait passer à travers. Ça ne semble pas pour le moment, mais c'est encore mieux que tu l'es maintenant. Même dans le passé, Dieu a des bonnes choses. Robert. Son, I'm stretching you beyond comfort. I'm causing the stretching of the Lord to come in your life. Stretching of the Lord doesn't come to break you or destroy you, but it comes to make you. I want to make you able to stand unmovable, unshakable. There are a lot of things that have pressured you. There's like precious things that are so valuable to you, things that you love. Not so much material thing as it is people but you're a far distance and it just seems unfair and it seems like nothing ever happens to bridge the gap. But know this, says the Lord, I'm at work. Even when you can't see it or understand it, know that I'm at work and I will answer your prayer. What is your name? It would seem in this season that from every side you're pressured and boxed in. It's been a difficult time a burdensome time, a time where the weight of many things have been upon your shoulders. But I would say to you, daughter, I am here for you. I want you to intercede. I want you to know that I will hear you cry and I will answer you. I don't want you to be weary and well-doing. I don't want you to stop doing what is right, even when it's difficult. You have been doing what is right. Continue, for in due season you will reap the harvest. I am coming, says the Lord, to break open the walls of resistance that have held you back. Take courage and be strong. Be bold in your prayer and go forward, for I am bringing the breakthrough as you begin to fight in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's your name? Mon nom est Jeanne Do you understand that? Okay. I have to translate. Daughter, I've put an ability in you to stand and fight. Ma soeur, j'ai mis une de combattre. From the earliest age, you had to fight for everything. Depuis le ton jeune âge, tu as dû combattre pour tout. Nothing came easy. Il n'y a rien qui est venu facilement pour toi. And the road has been very difficult. It's like this rocky mountain. Le chemin a été très difficile. C'est comme une montagne de roches. But I see you around seven, eight, nine years old, making a decision. You didn't quite know what you were doing. À l'âge de 7, 8 ou 9 ans, tu as fait une décision. Tu savais pas trop ce que tu faisais. But you made a decision. I will not stay in this pain. Mais tu as pris la décision de ne pas rester dans la souffrance. I will not stay in this issue. Je ne resterai pas dans cette situation. But I'm going to press forward. Mais je vais avancer. And you began to grasp on, and you had a, an ability to be taught. Mais tu as commencé à presser et à aller de l'avant. And you've accomplished things in your life. Et tu as accompli des choses dans ta vie. But you're in a season right now Mais where you really feel disappointed. Mais tu es dans une saison maintenant où tu es vraiment désappointé. You feel like you're in another battle, another struggle, and you say, I can't do it again. Tu crois que tu, tu sais que tu es dans une bataille, un combat, tu, sais, tu dis que tu ne peux plus le faire. But I want you to understand the battle is not yours, says the Lord. Mais je veux que tu comprennes que la bataille n'est pas à toi. But it's mine. Mais c'est la bataille du so Seigneur. So put it in my hands, give it to me. Mets-le dans mes mains et donne-le-moi. And everything that's been worked against you et to try to hurt you is going to be stopped. Fait contre toi pour te faire mal va arrêter. Even material things, financial things that have been kept from you. Même les choses matérielles et financières qui ont été gardées de toi. Don't be fearful. N'aie pas peur. They're going to be released. Ils vont être relâchés. Stand sure. Tiens-toi et avec certitude, sans être bougé. In Jesus' name. Dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. What is your name? Chantal. Um, you're not one that wears your heart on your sleeve, shows all your sadness, complains about every difficult thing that comes to you. But I know, daughter, in this season, your heart has been heavy. There's, it's been a grievous season, a sad season. 
And it feels like sometimes it's so heavy that your breath is almost taken away. But I want you to know I, I've come to give you righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And I want you to be one who will abandon herself to me and worship during these seasons. And I will not only lift your spirit up, but I will kick open the doors that have been shut, the 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 burdens of the day, the frustrations of relationships, all those things that have you fearful and worried. I am in complete control of your life and those you love. And I am not going to stop moving on their behalf because I love them, but I also love you. So I want you to know, cry unto me. Let that burden out. It's not heavy for me, says the Lord. And I will, as you pour that out, I will lift it off you. And I will replace it with confidence and hope. Faith with expectancy. Expecting to see that I am who I say I am. Amen. And I will do what I told you I will do. Yes. Especially concerning the relationship that is heavy on your heart. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Marie, si on a prié pour vous, vous pouvez vous asseoir. Marie, Marie. je vois que tu amasses beaucoup de choses qui te concernent. You feel like you've got to rescue everybody. Des soucis. You, you've got to physically do it, mentally do it. Il faut que tu le fasses mentalement et aussi physiquement. Feel like there's a lot of pressure on you. People are expecting from you. Je sens qu'il y a beaucoup de pression sur toi. Les gens s'attendent à ce que tu les fasses. But they've been unwilling to do for themselves. Mais même eux n'ont pas voulu le faire pour eux-mêmes. And you can't hold it all alone. Et tu peux pas le tenir tout seul. I mean, you have the heart to do it because you love. Tu as le cœur de le faire parce que tu aimes beaucoup. You you would gladly take it all on you. Tu voudrais même tout prendre sur toi. But the Lord doesn't want you to do that. Mais le Seigneur veut pas que tu le fasses. He wants you to give it to Him. Il veut que tu lui donnes tout. And you're going to see within the next three and a half months. Et tu vas voir d'ici trois mois et demi. Things that just seem unchangeable, unmovable. Qui, qui te semblent qui ne changeront pas, qui sont qui bougeront pas. God's going to begin to turn it all around. Dieu va commencer à tourner toutes ces choses là à l'envers. <laughs> and your sleep at night is going to be a sleep of rest. Et ton sommeil la nuit va vraiment être un sommeil de repos. Right now you wake up all crazy hours with all these thoughts on your mind. Souvent, tu te la nuit avec de dans ta tête. How will I do all this? Because you, you, you want to do it, you want to help. Parce que tu veux le faire, tu veux aider. But it's impossible. Mais impossible. So Father, I pray right Père, now. Père, je prie That you will do the intervention in this precious lady's life. Que tu intervenir dans la vie de cette femme précieuse. Mm. I really feel like there's been a spirit of mockery against you. Je sens vraiment qu'il y a un esprit de moquerie qui est venu contre toi. Someone on the sideline wanting to mock your faith, wanting to mock your standing. Il y a quelqu'un qui voudrait se moquer de ta foi, que de, de pourquoi tu te tiens. They, they get pleasure out of seeing you wounded. Ils ont du plaisir à te voir faire mal ou que les gens te font mal. But God is going to change their hearts. Mais Dieu va tout changer leur cœur. And the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord's. Et la bataille ne pas, c'est la bataille du Seigneur. Donne-lui tout. God bless you. Que le Seigneur te bénisse. <coughs> What is your name, sister? My daughter, I want you to know that I am your provision and I am your healer. And I address these two issues, for these are the two issues that have been most heavy on your heart, <coughs> things that, most, that you've had to deal with. I feel like there are several th issues for your health. But some is back issues, neck, shoulder issues, um, and some lower, upper and lower back issues. You have some female and digestive issues, and God's taking control of all those oh, and bringing in the name healing of Jesus, specifically to them. Do you also have some issues with your teeth or gums? Yes, God's doing that too. But the Lord says, I am not only going to provide healing for you, but I am going to bring the finances to you that have been lacking. For you are not a lazy woman. You're not a slothful woman. 
You've worked hard, and it would seem like your like water <laughs> falling through your fingers, but and and holes in your pocket. I'm going to sew up the holes, says the Lord, and I'm going to cause not only the finances to come, but I'm going to increase your wisdom and ability to manage and to use it wisely wiser so that it will even stretch farther and I'm going to give you enough that you can give even what has been on your heart since this building project begun and you said Lord how can I do that I don't have it I will give it to you and you will be faithful to give it to the house of the Lord God bless you Amen. Amen. that's true isn't it <laughs> what's your name Steve mm. Son, I'm going to build you even stronger, more determined, unmovable, unshakable. You're in a season right now where it seems like more things have been against you than for you. It seems like everywhere you turn, you're hitting a wall, and it just seems like nothing is opening, nothing's making a way. And you have fought from being discouraged. You have tried to fight not to be down, but deep in your heart and spirit, You've been wounded because this is about the third time in a short period of time that you've experienced this kind of situation. Maybe not all the same, but typical or similar. And so you're in this valley of just tremendous disappointment and weight that's trying to bring you down. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over the lie of the enemy. And I call it a lie because it is a lie. You're not who they say you are. You're not who the enemy tries to betray you at. You're not even who you think you are. Because part of the issue has been you've had a low self-esteem. Someone took advantage of you early in your life and spoke things and did things that wounded your spirit, and you're still fighting through it. You're still working through it. But I'm doing a quick work, says the Lord. I'm doing a quick work, and you're going to pass through this valley quickly. There's some things that you've really wanted in your life. You've had some failures. You've had some real disappointments. You've made some wrong choices and the enemy's tried to convince you that that's over, that chapter's closed, forget about it. But as you get whole, as you get well, as you get strong, and as you begin to see yourself different and you begin to embrace life once again, you watch what God does in your life and the pleasures that he brings to you. He's not done with you, young man. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What is your name? Don't. My son, you have been a faithful man. You've loved me and you have a heart to serve. And I'm going to continue to use, me, use you for my glory, says the Lord. But one thing I speak unto you, especially in this next season, I am going to cause there to be an increased passion for the next generation, to see them raised, to stand in the gap for them, to pray for them, to be an advocate for them, to tell the others and to encourage the leaders and those around about, those that the pastor has chosen, accept them, encourage them, bring them in the fold. I am in need of those like Peter who will encourage them. Go all the way in, go all the way in, who will not be uh, upset because they seem to run faster or if they seem to run stronger, but will say, without you, the next generation will not go on. Therefore, says the Lord, I put an anointing upon you, even in prayer and intercession concerning them. And I will lay some of them upon your heart, and I would have you to do warfare, and you will see transformations in people's lives. There are coming some off the streets that are in desperate need, addicted, broken. Those that were in prison, those that are imprisoned in their mind, those that are suicidal. And this house will bring about a transformation. Body, soul, and spirit stand in the gap for them as well, says the Lord. Not only you, but the house, but especially you. And you will leave a legacy behind. Do not think is my day, my, are my days over, but think where... What legacy will I leave behind to those that will follow? I believe, Casey. one minute, honey, one minute, honey. I believe that um, 
And I'm not saying that it's necessarily je, this man or only this man, je crois but que there's changes coming. Il y a des changements qui s'en viennent. Changes in leadership, le changements dans le leadership, dans les responsabilités. This is the season. C'est la saison. And you know it in your heart. Et tu sais dans ton cœur. And you wouldn't be hindered, but you you've been wanting to be very careful. Tu veux vraiment faire attention. Because people don't like change. Parce que les gens n'aiment pas le changement. Even leaders don't même, like change. Même les leaders n'aiment pas le changement. But the Lord says it is, dit, it is a kairos moment. Mais c'est le moment kairos. It is a kairos moment. For change and for equipping. C'est un moment carose pour le changement et pour être équipé. For you do not have a lot of time. Mais vous n'avez pas beaucoup de temps. Because as the building gets larger, so shall the body and so shall the need for Quand leaders. Quand le bâtiment va grandir, ça va avoir beaucoup de monde, il va avoir besoin de beaucoup de leaders. So I'm going to speed up the preparation time. Alors je vais accélérer le temps de préparation. So I address you. Et alors je vous adresse. Ça vient that, du please, Seigneur. Listen. Écoutez. Do not cop an attitude if you think someone's promoted too quick. Alors ne, ne, ne prenez pas une attitude si vous pensez que les gens sont promus sont promus. Or maybe vite. you don't see the anointing or you si don't like the person. Vous voyez pas vous aimez pas la personne. Church is not a popularity contest. L'église c'est pas un concours de popularité. We don't vote. God appoints. On vote pas, Dieu appointe. And the leaders, you, your responsibility Votre pray responsabilité for the est de prier pour les leaders. For the wisdom of God. Pour la sagesse de Dieu. For the right people, pour the les, right time les bons, and the right les bonnes job. personnes au bon temps pour le bon travail. Because God's going to blow this house. Parce que Dieu up. va vraiment faire éclater cette not maison. Not only in size, but in the spirit. Pas simplement dans le dans la grandeur, mais dans l'esprit. Why did you build it for anyway? Pourquoi vous l'avez bâti en passant? Why are you building? What are you building for? Pourquoi est-ce que vous le bâtissez? The next generation. Pour la prochaine génération. So make room in your heart Alors, as well as in the natural. Faites la place dans votre cœur, même aussi comme dans le naturel. Make room in the spirit. Faites la place dans l'esprit. And then. Et ensuite. I will make room. Je vais faire de la place for my spirit pour to mon flow esprit pour qu'il puisse and to multiply in the house. se multiplier dans la maison. Amen. Amen. It wasn't a rebuke, it was a strong admonition. Alors c'était pas un, une reproche mais c'était vraiment quelque chose Because de, this is une exhortation. A good house and your Parce que vous êtes une bonne maison, des bons gens. You don't need a rebuke. Vous n'êtes pas besoin de, de reproche. But God's picking up the time, he's pushing from mais behind. Dieu pousse par derrière. Hallelujah. Amen. I confirm that. Jason, is it? Mm-hmm. So I'm bringing you into a new season. I'm going to cause things to begin to fall off of you, things to begin to change, deepen your heart, deepen your spirit. Sometimes you feel like nobody takes you serious. Sometimes you don't think that you have a lot of value or worth. Sometimes you judge yourself and compare yourself to others. I want you to stop it. I want you to stop thinking low of yourself. I want you to stop thinking you're just kind of a bump on a log. You're just kind of here. But if you will press in in this season, if you will surrender to me in a greater dimension, a greater way, if you will yield everything to me, I will take you and I will build you and cause you to be a champion in your generation. I want to do something strong in your life. I want to do something positive. I don't know why I keep saying that, because I I just feel like either you don't take yourself serious or people don't, or maybe you've made some wrong choices already. We've all made wrong choices and wrong decisions. But this is a new day and a new opportunity. And as you press into the Lord, he will build you strong. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. What is your name? Glory. What's your question? Amen. Hallelujah. You're a very serious man. You're a thinker. And through your whole life, there's been people who said, oh, you, 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 you're too slow. You're too slow. But no, you're methodical. You're not foolish. You don't want to make a mistake. And the Lord says, this is a good thing, but I'm going to invade your spirit and I'm going to not only cause you to be a serious man, but a man with great zeal and wisdom. For wisdom 
or seriousness without zeal is no good, and zeal without wisdom is no good. And I'm going to cause you to be a man of balance and strength. Also, in this next season, I'm going to give you wisdom concerning your livelihood and, uh, and the transition that is coming for that and the doors that I'm going to have you walk into. I want you to know that I have a good plan for you, and if you seek me, you'll not only find me, and if you knock, I will open the correct doors. Don't be frustrated. You've been frustrated. Just trust in the Lord, and he will lead you and guide you in all truth. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hello. What's your name, honey? Karina. How old are you? Fifteen. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Now, not just you, but at 15, we think we know it all. <laughs> That's okay. We've been there. Hallelujah. The very precious spirit about you, young lady. But you've walled yourself in somewhat. You've shielded yourself. You've shut yourself off because you've had some disappointments. And you feel if you open yourself too much, someone will hurt you again. And people have, you know, the word of God says man judges the outside, but God sees the heart. And some people have seen you to be distant or disconnected or aloof or maybe even stuck up. I don't know. But the truth is you've been trying to protect yourself because you've been hurt. But God wants you to go deeper into him, deeper into his truth, don't stop on the outside just peeking in. But be someone who will be willing to go all the way in. Stay very teachable. Stay submitted. Because in the next couple of years, God's going to so work beautifully in your life. Because he wants to position you to be a champion and one of the leaders among the young people who will say, yes, we can. Let us rise up. Um, it's almost like you were on that destiny. You were on that goal. You were heading... And then there's been a lot of interruption, but guess what? Mm -hmm. The grace of God, the love of God, the mercy of God covers it. Hallelujah. And he doesn't want you to live in yesterday. He wants you to live today and look to the future because you've got one. God bless you, sweetheart. What is you? I want you to know, daughter, that even at your young age, I have a purpose and a plan for your life. I have a place for you in this house. And in this next season, I want you to come forward and I want you to take ownership of this home in your heart, now this house of God in your heart. And I want you to begin to extend yourself in service to the house of the Lord. I want you to know that I'm going to increase your heart for children and I'm going to use you in the future even more to minister to young people for they are in need of those who have a gentle spirit and a loving heart who will not harm them but will pray for them and nurture them so know this says the lord think not that you are insignificant and that you are not seen know that i see you and i have a place for you and as you say to the leadership what is it i can do they will plug you in and as you continue to grow in me i will increase an understanding in your spirit and the confirmation will come from them of what your place is in the house of the lord but at this age you need to say you are my god i take Take ownership of you. This is my house of worship. I take ownership in it. And you do that by serving, says the Lord. God bless you. Amen. And you know what? God's going to bless you for further education. And the desire of your heart, don't, don't just think, well, I'm just going to do this because I don't know if I can really accomplish what I want to. You can and you will. God bless you. Amen. And Rihanna. Valerie. Mm. My son and daughter, you've come a long way. Mon fils et ma fille, vous venez de loin. And along the journey, there were things that could have stopped you. Et sur la route, il y a des choses qui auraient pu vous arrêter. Matter of fact, they did. Ils ont, ils vous ont arrêté en fait. But you made up your mind, we won't stay there. Mais vous avez décidé, on ne reste pas là. And there's been a real desire in your life. To succeed. Il y a un grand désir dans votre vie d'avoir du succès. There are people who have prayed for you. Il y a des gens qui ont prié pour vous. There's heritage in your life Il y a des of people dans vos vies. who have believed for you. Il y a des gens qui ont cru pour vous. And you're not uncovered. The grace of God is over your life. Et la grâce de Dieu est sur vos vies. Vous n'êtes pas à découvert. But it seems like the more you do, the harder you work, 
It becomes more difficult. Le, il semble que plus vous travaillez, plus vous avancez, plus c'est difficile. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that there will come a release qui va venir un relâche for not only better employment but better pay pour un meilleur emploi et une meilleure paye for greater opportunity de plus grandes opportunités. This may sound harsh but please understand what I'm saying. Comprends ce que je vais te dire maintenant. People have taken advantage of you. Et les gens qui ont pris avantage de toi. And you've let them sometimes. Puis tu les as laissés quelquefois le faire. You thought if you said anything you Parce would be in more trouble. Parce que tu as pensé que si tu disais quelque chose, tu aurais encore plus de problèmes. But God's building manhood in you and strength Mais in Dieu you. Mais Dieu bâtit te, que te bâti comme homme et te donne la force. He wants you to believe in who you are. Et que tu crois en qui tu es. And that you're a child of the most high God. Que tu es un enfant du Dieu puissant. And no label that man could put on you is going to be able to stay. Rien de ce que l'homme pourrait mettre sur toi va demeurer. Because he says you're his child. Parce qu'il dit tu es mon fils. You belong to him. Tu lui appartiens. And your family is covered because of that. Et ta famille est couverte à cause de cela. And you're protected. Et vous êtes protégé. I want to tell you something. Je vais vous dire quelque chose. Within the next 12 months, things are going to turn around beautifully. But every day you got to wake up and say, "God's for me and not against me." And if God is for me, who could be against me? And if God is for me, who could be against me? Blessing, blessing, blessing. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. What is you? Meraline. My daughter, I call you Abigail. Ma fille, je t'appelle Abigail. For Abigail was a woman of great wisdom. Parce que Abigail était une femme de grande sagesse. Sound judgment. Un bon jugement solide. A woman that uh, had had a desire in her heart to do that was that was which was right before God and to the servants of the Lord. Alors, elle avait un, elle voulait faire ce qui était bien aux yeux de Dieu et aux yeux des serviteurs de Dieu. A woman who saw farther than just now but saw the big picture in the future. Une femme qui voyait plus de qu'est-ce qui était proche mais voyait de loin le grand portrait. And I'm going to cause you to be a woman of great wisdom. Et je vais causer que tu sois une femme avec une grande sagesse et beaucoup de grâce. And I'm going to put a word of the Lord in your mouth that will encourage other women. Et je vais mettre une parole de Dieu dans ta bouche qui va encourager les autres femmes. Women that are weak, women that are not strong like you. Des femmes qui sont faibles, des femmes qui ne sont pas fortes comme toi. Women that are afraid. Des femmes qui ont peur. Women that Uh, allow themselves to be abused. Des femmes qui permettent qu'on les abuse. You are of the nature that would say, "Well, who am I?" Tu es de nature qui dirait, mais qui suis-je? Don't I need a male covering? Est-ce que j'ai pas besoin d'un mâle qui me couvre? You have a male covering. You vous have pastors. You have leaders. You have a female mâle, covering. Mâle, vous avez le pasteur et You're la femme du pasteur. You are a child of the Lord. Vous êtes un enfant de Dieu. And this is me talking. I'm not ça, saying God's going to withhold. Je ne dis pas que Dieu va enlever ça ou ne voudra pas ça. But God can still use you. Mais Dieu peut quand même se servir de toi. Be a woman that is strong but in order. Soit une femme qui est forte mais ça dans l'ordre. That is bold and speaks the word of truth qui est but in love. Mais qui parle la vérité dans l'amour. That has an ear to hear what the spirit of the Lord says before she opens her mouth. Qui a une oreille pour entendre ce que l'esprit de Dieu te dit avant d'ouvrir la bouche. And like Abigail. Et comme Abigail. There will be oui. many who will be saved in the day when I would have raised them up. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui vont être sauvés dans le jour où on va te lever. Because they didn't make foolish decisions. Parce qu'ils n'ont pas fait de, de, de décisions folles aujourd'hui. Stay in your place in government and order. Reste dans ta place sous l'autorité de la maison. But when I give you authority to speak or encourage. Mais quand je te donne autorité de parler ou d'encourager, les leaders te donnent. Share it. Partage. God's also going to open up Better opportunities for you Dieu va aussi in the ouvrir des opportunités dans Promotion le naturel. Des promotions viennent de Dieu. And it's Et ça s'en vient. God bless you. Dieu soit, te, que Dieu te bénisse. <laughs> Both of you have been faithful to stand on the wall. Both of you have been willing to make sacrifices. You've been an age. You've been a blessing. And there are three things that you have before the Lord that you're believing God for in your own lives, in your own family. And I just felt so strong when I looked over at you. The Lord said to me, tell them, because they made my house a priority, because they've put my house first, because they had a heart to help build my house, I will take care of theirs. And I will not leave one thing undone, one thing unfinished. I will complete everything. 
and the promises that I made you even 25, 30 years ago, know that I will fulfill it. Stay faithful, stay unmovable, unshakable. You didn't fall for it, but I feel like the enemy about six months ago tried to bring a spirit of discouragement, tried to break your heart. He didn't want you standing on the walls. He wanted you to be crumbled and broken. But you would have left a hole in the wall. You are needed. You are loved. So stand strong. And when the lies of the enemy come, stand against them. We bless you both in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you an intercessor, honey? Are you an intercessor? Praise the Lord. Now, don't anybody get mad at me. Because I know it's not nice to ask ladies their age. Ne vous fâchez pas après moi, je sais pas poli demander l'âge des femmes. But I felt ladies that are over 65 years old. Mais j'ai senti que les femmes qui ont plus de 65 ans. I want you to stand right now. Je veux que vous se leviez maintenant. Those of you that are over 65. Boy, you're here. some good looking ladies, man. Et les femmes pas bien ici, hein? Come on up here, girls. Ne vous en ici, sortez. Go ahead. What's your name? Annick. Annick. You know, you are a really precious young woman. And I look at you and I think, what clean hands and a pure heart. But the enemy comes and he tries to beat you up so bad to bring insecurity, to bring fear. You know, you have a desire for adventures in the natural and in the Lord. You want to see powerful things. You want to go places and do things for the Lord. But there's also a fear sometimes to even make it known. But the Lord says, I put that in you. And I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of peace, love, and a sound mind. And I want you to know those desires and those thoughts that are of good, I put there. Don't listen to the enemy. I'm going to open up doors for the nations and ability to go on missions trip. It's in your heart. You're going to bless people. There'll be an anointing on you to teach young people. You'll have an anointing for healing for young people. Hey, soak it out of your pastor. Soak it out of your both your pastors to preach and teach and and for the healing because God's going to raise up young men and women that are fearless and bold. And, and, and being fearless is what God has given you. I want to give you something from the book of Rita. It's not the book of the Bible. It's just something that God sh- just broke in my spirit. He hasn't, we have not been, we are not born to live in fear, but born to fear God and live. And as you reverence God and as you begin to understand who he really is, the power he has, and the power he's given you, then that reverence of God is going to lead you into a life of abundancy. I mean adventure, blessing, power. You're going to see great things with your eyes because you have a heart for God. And he's going to give you an ability to teach in foreign lands. We bless you. Give her a a hunger for the word and a hunger for the spirit. Both, balance in both. She's in a house where she can get it all. In Jesus' name, we release it to her. And we release her in the spirit to be trained and learn the ways of the Lord for that which you will bring her to. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Is there any other, any other prayer warriors in this line? Est-ce que des guerrières de prière ici? Prayer people? Des gens qui prient, oui, intercèdent. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Father, we pray and Père, call a fresh new anointing on appelle une onction fraîche et nouvelle the intercessors of this house, les intercesseurs, des guerriers de prière ici. Know this, my children. Sachez ceci, mes enfants. You've stood in the gap for this ministry. Vous avez tenu dans la brèche pour ce ministère. You've stood in the gap for others. Vous êtes dans la brèche pour les autres. You have been those who have stretched yourself. Vous avez été ceux qui se sont étirés. In faith to believe for the impossible. Pour croire à l'impossible. This is a new season to stretch even more. Pour encore plus. I'm calling to a greater intercession, a greater intercession, a greater Cry to me, says the Lord. Un plus grand cri vers moi, dit le Seigneur. 
I'm calling you to stand in the gap for not only the building to be built, but for the next generation to come in. And you are also going to take young people up along your side and you will target them in prayer. Et leur aider à savoir prier. I almost see you. You won't do it like this, but you'll draw names out of a hat of the young people. Say, oh, I got this si one to pray. Vous tiriez des noms de d'un chapeau. Vous direz, oh, c'est lui que j'ai pris. C'est lui. C'est elle. Particular people by name. Des gens particuliers par leur nom. You're going to bring them before the Lord. Vont, vous allez les amener devant le Seigneur. And as they break forth and step into the things of the kingdom. Et quand eux entrent dans les choses du royaume. You're also going to receive a great reward. Vous allez aussi recevoir une grande récompense. And every one of you, whatever your need is, whatever your issue is, chacun de vous, selon vos besoins, vos whatever you have before the throne of grace, que vous avez devant le trône de grâce, we pray for the intervention of the living God nous in your pour lives. Du Dieu puissant dans vos vies. Hallelujah. What's your name, honey? Denise. Mm. I just see you when you get into prayer mode. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> There's an intercession and there's a strength that comes on you. You love to stand in the gap for others. But even the issues in your own heart, in your own spirit, the physical things, the things that seem to come heavy on you in this season, know that I will lift you above them, I will strengthen you, and I will cause you to be one who's unmovable, unshakable. Mm. There's a tremendous ability in you to love the unlovely. There's a grace and a mercy that pours out to, from you to broken, wounded people. You don't know that you're receiving, you're welcoming, you're saying hello to them when they come into the house. It has a soothing to them and a comfort to them. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What's your name? Madeline. Oh, know that I'm not done with you, says the Lord. <laughs> There's a courageousness and an encouraging, a word of encouragement. You love to build people up. You love to talk of the things of the kingdom of God because you know where the Lord brought you. You know what he did to bring you out of the snare of the enemy and to set your feet on the rock. And you've said it many times, if he's done it for me, he can do it for you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see you teaching. I, I see you getting a hold of young people and just laying some principles in their life. Sometimes it would almost seem practical. But you know, that's where a lot of people get tripped up. Our God is very practical. Matter of fact, his word says, if you don't we work, you don't eat. How much more practical is that? So... There's things that are valuable in you, and God's going to use you. Hallelujah. We bless you. Mm. Daughter, you have a particular heart for the leaders. There's a passion in you. You, you. you love to surround them. You love to serve. You love to do whatever your hands find to do. Matter of fact, you'd be in church every day of the week if you got a chance. It's just you love doing little things. You love helping, and you love seeing things accomplished and things finished. For about six and a half months, things have not been easy. There's been a lot of challenges, different things that have taken place that's brought a challenge in your life. But the grace of God and the mercy of God has carried you through, and he will continue to carry you through. What's your name, sweetie? Lorraine. Lorraine. Hallelujah. Mm. Where, right where you live, there's people in need. There's people who are hurting. People who are lonely. And maybe you don't feel like you can do it alone. But get a couple of these other girls to come with you. Madame ici, puis vous calme, and have, avec a, toi. have a coffee hour there and tell them a, just conversation. Un café avec eux et parle avec eux. And testify of the good things of the Lord. All of you share. Du Seigneur, of the good things of the Lord. Du 
Because there's a people there who are ready to hear. Parce qu'il y a des gens autour de toi qui sont prêts à entendre. They look out a window, they have nothing else to look for. Ils regardent à, à travers la fenêtre et ils n'ont rien à voir. And they need hope. Ils ont besoin d'espoir. You can help bring hope. Tu peux leur donner cet espoir. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Excuse me, hon, can I interject one thing? Which one of you here, I'm not, Laquelle I'm, I'm vous just ici? asking you, sister in the red, but la, if it's not you, that's all right. La femme en rouge. You've had some heaviness in your respiratory breathing issues. Est-ce que tu as eu des problèmes dans tes, dans tes poumons, la respiration? C'est sa pression. Est-ce oui. que je peux prier pour toi? Father, first and foremost, we thank you for this precious woman. And Father, we pray for her physical body. Merci pour son corps physique, on prie. Lord, for her pressure and the heaviness that she's feeling in her la lungs, her chest area. Elle a sur son, ses poumons. We ask that you quicken her body de toucher son corps by the Spirit of the Lord. Par de Dieu. What is your name? Lorraine. My daughter, I want you to be a gap stander, says the Lord. I want you to be one who in pray, prayer fills the gap between the generations. And this, I want to be one of the main thrusts for your prayer. Give them the eyes to see with your heart, Father. Give them understanding. Give them wisdom, oh God. Let them not be consumed by the things of this world or deceived by the things of this world or the enemy of their soul or even their own thoughts. Guard them and, and surround them. Daughter, I want you to be a gap stander for the next generation. I want you to be one who will be a bridge of, uh, uh, and that's a, a gap stander is like a bridge, a one who will bridge them with words of faith, words of encouragement, and intercession. I'm going to open up your spiritual ears in this next season, Amen. and you're going to hear me in a clearer, more intimate way. And there will be night seasons when you will wake up and you will hear songs of heaven. You will hear worship. And it will be a key that now is the time to come low before me because I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you and share my heart with you. And I want you to also know, daughter, that as you do that, I will intervene in your life for the second and third generations that follow you, those that you know have a call, those that you know, some who have just backed off and turned around astray, I will captivate them and I will turn them around and I will bring them back, says the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. God bless Amen. you. What's your name? Amen. Mm. You're really full of strength. You're full of energy. You... You're, you're someone who loves to keep things going, keep busy. And there is a, a quality in you to make feel, people feel comfortable, make them feel welcomed. There was a season in your life where you felt abandoned, you felt left, you felt lonely. But the love of God has so surrounded you, so engulfed you, so impacted your life that your heart is, I want to give back. I want to do for others. I see you looking at a photograph. And I see when you look at it, you remember a day that's gone by and you thought, if I only knew what I knew now, things would have been different. But the Lord says, I don't want you looking back. I want you looking forward. We bless you. Hi. Denise. Hallelujah. Mm. Faithful and true. Fidèle et vrai. Unwavering, standing qui strong. Ne bouge pas, qui est forte. Loving God. Qui aime Dieu. Loving people. Qui aime les gens. And serving. Et service. You're a little frustrated with yourself because you can't do what you used to do. Parce que tu peux plus faire ce que tu faisais. Don't think for one moment your usefulness is over. Because your prayers carry a heavy weight, says the Lord. So rest in this. That as you call on my name, you're being obedient. And I will answer prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. What's your name? Judith. Sometimes you think if I 
only would have stepped into the river sooner, if I would have only embraced everything sooner, maybe things would have turned out different. Maybe things would have been different. But I want you to know that in this season of your life, I'm going to bring a fulfillment. I'm going to bring a blessing so deep in your life that's going to so bless you, you're going to be just pleased. You're going to be someone who's going to declare, look what the Lord has done. And great joy and great peace is going to be your portion. Oh, mm. And no weapon that the enemy's formed is going to work against you. Mm. I feel like there's been some broken relationships. Silence, people have turned and, and separated, gone away. Hurtful words have been said, have wounded your soul, wounded your spirit. You're, you're consumed with this a lot in your day because you're thinking, Lord, I don't want it to end like this. I, I, I want healing. I want peace. Know that I've heard your prayer and I'm at work, says the Lord. So when the opportunity comes, I only want you to be gracious. Just be gracious. Don't rehash. Don't relive. Just be gracious. Accept in love. And great joy will be yours. Mm. Hallelujah. What's your name, precious? Madeline. Hallelujah. Mm. And I mean this as a compliment. You're a little spitfire. Hallelujah. <laughs> Some people see you at action and say, boy, I wish I had half the energy she had. <laughs> All of your life you've been a doer. All of your life you've just stepped in where there was a need. And you just started helping, you just start doing. It's so natural that sometimes people don't even notice it. It's just, that's you. Mm. That's who you are. But for the last three weeks, there's been something very heavy on your heart. And you've really brought it before the Lord, and you've really been in agony over something really pressing deep. Father, I pray right now that miraculously you will work out every issue for this precious handmaiden, mm -hmm. the servant of the Lord. Lord, that you will take care of every issue, and great peace will be hers, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. You made a wise decision in life. You made up your mind you would not be bitter. You made up your mind you would not let anger rule you. Things were done very dirty, very hurtful, very painful. But you made up your mind, I will not let it rob me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I will not let it rob me from all my life. And it was in those moments, in that season, where you made up your mind that you would become better. Matter of fact, you've had opportunity to reach out to the ones who've hurt you. You'd have an opportunity to bring a kind word and a merciful word, either by pen or by phone or even conversation. And you've repaid hurtful hurtful things just with the love of God. And so even if they've never reacted, even if they've never showed anything different, know that that's reached their heart and it will come to the surface. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Matthew, come with your little girl. Hi, sweetheart. What's your name? Salome. Mm. My child, I want you to be very courageous. I want you to be strong in your faith. I want you to be confident in knowing that I'm for you and my hand is on your life. One of the things the Lord shows me about you is that you're going to be someone you care about people. Even now when you see someone mistreated or shunned, or put to the side. There, there's some friends and people that say, oh, don't bother with that one. Just stay in our group. Don't, don't talk to that one. Just stay in our group. 
but the mercy and the love of God is already in operation in your life. And you're going to be someone that's going to be able to step into broken young people's lives, people who are hurt. You've been blessed to have a wonderful dad and a wonderful mom, beautiful grandparents. You've been blessed to be brought up in the house of the Lord, but you realize a lot of people haven't, a lot of kids haven't. And sometimes they're shunned and they're broken and they look strange and they're, they're people who could be rejected very easily. But God's going to give you mercy. Sometimes you may not say nothing to them, but you will bring them in prayer. Father, I pray because the Lord says to you, I'm developing in you a heart for ministry. I've given you a caring attitude for people because the anointing of the Lord is going to increase in your life. I don't want you to be weighted down with this, with this heavy call. I want you to enjoy your youth, but I want you to be a handmaiden. I want you to be someone who gathers others and and loves others and treat others better than others would try to treat them. Be a good friend. Because in the day of visitation, when the Lord calls you forth to begin to speak and begin to teach in the years to come, you're going to do it with a confidence and you're going to do it with an ability to touch all kinds of people. So we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah, Matthew. Sister, come here for a minute. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. And, and you know this already it's, it's no news maybe you all know it already too and don't need to hear it again but the Lord put it on my heart to give this to you you know that in particular you're being raised up to bring the next generation even further there's a, a real strength of godly character in both of you you have really aligned your heart with the vision of the house You are servants. Whether people have seen it or not, you've rolled up your sleeves and you've got right down to the dirty, nitty-gritty of things that had to be done. You haven't assumed nothing. You haven't taken anything for granted. You haven't just said, oh, well, I walk in this in ease. It's just mine. But you've labored to prove yourself. You've labored to be accepted. You've labored to say, I know that I know that I know that the call of God and the anointing of God has been worked into me by the spirit of the living God. Know that I'm going to cause you to bring the work of the Lord even further. And I'm going to give you a particular sound, a particular thing to do to capture the next generation. I see from 18 to 30 in particular that are going to begin to be gathered to the house of the Lord Some of them will be young married couples that you'll have an extra influence in. But some of them are just going to be young single professionals. I just see the Lord in gathering them because he's going to strengthen the next generation to carry the vision of the house even further. So we bless you right now. And And the Lord hasn't showed it to me. It's not my business. But both of you have something heavy on your heart. Something that you have before the Lord. And I just felt like the Lord said to me to tell you everything's going to be okay. And that you're to continue to trust him and rest in him. And sometimes um, the enemy has tried to bring threats and has tried to bring ambush. But the love of God, the mercy of God, the protection of God is around you, hallelujah. And your concern isn't even for yourself because you know you're solid, but it's for others. And that thing that tries to penetrate your heart to bring doubt and even sometimes fear, that thing is broken and the peace of God goes with you from this moment forward. And you will impart that to others. We bless you both in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor John. Merci. Hein. Quelle bénédiction. Amen. Quelle bénédiction. Amen. Tu sais, je remercie Dieu pour Steve et Rita. I thank God for Steve and Rita. Il éduque le monde francophone. They teach the French people. Amen. People. Et sont un bon exemple. They're good examples. Hallelujah. Amen. 
C'est un honneur toujours de les avoir. Écoutez-moi, même si vous n'avez pas eu une prophétie, vous l'avez. Dieu vous aime. Vous êtes chéri pour lui. Amen. Il vous aime fort. Et veut vous garder près de son cœur. Amen. Ne soyez pas découragés si vous auriez peut-être aimé avoir. Oh, moi, Dieu ne m'aime pas. Dieu vous aime. Amen. Chacun de vous. Une autre fois, ça va être vous qui va l'avoir. Amen, amen. Il ne faut pas être jaloux. Il faut être heureux quand un frère ou une sœur a quelque chose de la part de Dieu. Amen. C'était-tu bon ce soir? Amen. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Allez dans la paix, dans la joie. Saluez quelqu'un. Amen.